I've been asked a lot why uh, we haven't done a video together in a while. And uh, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Life gets in the way sometimes. There you go. I'm Spectacular, the Silver Stack. I'm here with Brian Vermillion at his shop, Vermillion Enterprises in Spring Hill, Florida. Brian, what's going on? It's uh, another day in sunny, stormy Spring Hill, Florida. Yeah. So it's uh, hot is what it is and, uh, and busy too. So it's uh, precious metals are a hot thing right now, that's for sure. See, I find that interesting because we've seen a dramatic decrease in the price right. uh, over like the last month and a half, two months sure. of from, prices. Silver went from what, like 2150, 22 down to 18, seven, like high 17s, right? Yeah. And then it's uh, back up to right at $20 an ounce now over the last, what, six weeks or so. So with those, you know, price drops, and actually a few months before that, wasn't it just like 27, 28? I mean, I mean, it was pretty high there for a yeah. minute. And yeah, then we saw this big, huge decline. Right. It's a uh, it's a very volatile market. That's for sure. Yeah. Right now, it's it's kind of wild, but it's still popular. You're saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's still popular. A lot of uh, confusion in the world right now about the direction that uh, the economy is going. Not just here in the states, but globally. Um, the IMF said that uh, we are in a, a global recession. So um, I mean that that includes the United States also. And, uh, you know, people flock to uh, hard assets at that point. So that's going to be what we're going to talk about in this video, kind of like what's been going on, your thoughts, and you got some insider information about, you know, some of the ins and outs of the business that I hope you'll provide with us. And, uh, yeah, just tell us about how things have been working and why well, prices are going crazy. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. So uh, the price just dropped because the sell off, right? So when the economy goes down, there's always usually a huge, a huge paper sell off and that drives the price of gold and silver down. We saw the trouble that JP Morgan's gotten themselves into again with uh, how they've been spoofing and price manipulating the uh, precious metals industry. And so that, that, uh, that effect also with uh, companies uh, writing off their losses by selling off their paper contracts with silver and gold drives the price down. And eventually that, uh, that market normalizes and corrects itself. And once that happens, uh, you'll see the price of silver and gold, and gold go back up, which we're starting to see now. Yeah, I was actually wondering if it was gonna come lower than 17. I was like, ooh. Yeah, me too. Uh, a lot of big players in the industry were actually thinking 15 on uh, silver. And uh, I mean, it could still happen, but I think we're out of that danger zone. Um, and they were thinking gold could get to 1600. So um, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think gold is a lot more uh, stable than silver. So I, I think we're, I think we saw the bottoms for a while at least. Well, that's, that's actually kind of good to hear in a way, but then in another way, I love when it comes down because then they get to buy more. You know, I feel good about it. Yeah, but what happens? The premiums go up as the price of the precious metals go down because once that, you know, when we saw it at the beginning of COVID, when silver dropped to eleven dollars and whatever, the physical market separated from the paper market, and then it still costed you twenty or twenty-two dollars an ounce to get it, to yeah. get physical, uh, even though the paper market said it was eleven dollars and ninety cents or whatever it was. So that's that's what happens: is mar premiums go up as the uh, paper price goes down. All right, this might be, not be something you want to put on camera, but I'm going to try. Sure. I'm just going to try to talk about this. <laughs> so we saw this huge decrease in price over a short amount of time. Right. You're a shop owner here. I mean, this is what you deal in. Right. You're experiencing that giant decline. Mm -hmm. um, did you did you lose money because of that? I mean, how does that work? No. Uh, I made, made a ton of money. Really? Yeah. Uh, because we, we just maintain a fixed position. It doesn't matter to me what the price of gold or silver is. Um, and same with like, you know, like the big players, Atmex, right? Atmex is probably the most well-known company that exchanges precious metals, would you say? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, I, it's I the biggest one. It's, yeah, it's the biggest one uh, that's open to the public at least. And uh, same with them, they just hold a fixed position. It doesn't really matter what the price is, the margins are the same. So the price goes up or it goes down, it doesn't matter. Um, what matters is the margins and uh, that's where the money's made. It's, uh, 
So, you know, as long as you hold your uh, position, then uh, you're, you're still uh, you're still making it. Very interesting. So that's uh, that's all you do. What gets scary, and here's why a lot of shops uh, don't hold a fixed position. Let's say you got uh, let's say you got twenty thousand ounces of silver, right? And well, let's use ten thousand ounces just because the math's going to. I be wish good. I had twenty thousand ounces, but I'll take ten thousand. All right, let's take ten thousand ounces of silver, right? Um, and uh, you go to bed one night, and it's twenty dollars an ounce, and you wake up the next day, and it's uh, you know it's eighteen dollars an ounce. A silver, right? So how much money on paper did you just lose? 20 grand? Yeah. So that sucks, right? Yeah. And um, so that's why a lot of shops don't do it. They just sell what they buy across the counter. They just sell it and, and flip it back out. Uh, that way they never uh, lose on paper like that. Or what you'll see too is guys that, um, that uh, have a uh, physical and you see a, a big price reduction, they just either will pull it off the shelves or they'll maintain their same price that they had it at before the price reduction. Gotcha. And um, you know that can be frustrating for the customers, right? Well, hey, silver just went down $2 an ounce. Why are you still selling it for the same price that it was at $2 ago? So it's, uh, but no, we, we did well. Uh, we actually like movement in the market. It creates excitement. Uh, I like, I actually prefer to go down rapidly, uh, rather than going up rapidly, uh, cause it does create more excitement. Really? Yeah. Well, I think it's a question that a lot of people ask and I just never really asked that question is how do you do during that kind of thing when the prices come down? So this is good information. Thank yeah, you very much. It's, um, you know, it's, it, the worst thing that can happen to a business and this is any business, right? Is stagnation. So, um, you know, if things are stagnant, then businesses die. If things are popping and uh, people are coming in and out and buying and selling regardless of the price, um, you yeah, know, a business will survive. All right. Well, thank you for that. Now, uh, a few videos ago when we talked, and definitely check out the channel. I have a playlist with uh, other videos that Brian has done on my channel. And down below in the description, I'll put information so you can get more out of him, phone number, uh, business address, things like that down in the description, if that's okay with you, Brian. Of course, I appreciate okay. that. Uh, but a few videos ago we talked, we're talking about premiums, all right? Yeah. And some things like right here in front of me, the junk silver constitutional, 90%, um, whatever you want to call it, the premiums were nuts on this stuff. Um, How's yeah. that going? Uh, well, they're crazier. Uh, crazier? Yes. Oh, wow. So we pretty much follow the wholesale rates uh, when selling, to, when buying and selling to the public. Uh, so like on your dimes and quarters right now, we're buying it at the spot price plus $5 per ounce. So that's what we're paying for it. Wow. And we're, so we're selling at the spot price plus $7 per ounce. And whereas on the halves, it's plus six fifty is what we're paying. And we're selling at plus eight fifty. And you're getting that? It, uh, best sellers in the house right here right here right here uh for silver the best sellers is junk silver wow yep that's fascinating yeah it's uh i haven't had to wholesale silver off in months uh because people are buying it you know maybe it's good to take these long uh lulls and talking to you because then i get uh, information from those gaps like what's happening and it's fascinating to hear that this stuff is still going crazy i mean <laughs> yeah it's uh it is and um it's it's very popular. The reason why this stuff is, the Junk 90 is so popular, and you and I have talked about this before, is the prepper movement. The prepper movement has really exploded over the, what, last two, three years? Yeah, because everybody's actually scared to death. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and, and you, you probably have more insight into that because uh, of the people that you have interviewed that have kind of follow that mantra. People love dimes, quarters, and halves because they're small pieces of silver that are denominational. They uh, believe at some point in time they may be able to barter with them for uh, tangible goods that they may need. And uh, so that's why these, uh, these SKUs are so wildly popular as gotcha. compared to like 100 ounce bricks or kilos or something that they can get much cheaper. Well, the fact that these are fractional, like just as is, they're already fractioned out. Right. Is, is a it's a great thing um and, and you, it's denominational yeah and so it has a it has a monetary value associated to its face value right and you know as well as i do you see some of the fractional like nine uh, nine 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 silver like right. online the prices of that's ridiculous yeah you end up paying seventy dollars for one ounce of silver if you're buying only tenth ounces of silver and know? what's the 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 crappy part about that is when you go to re, like resell it and you know you're not going to use it but you actually resell it you don't get anywhere near the premium back 
But with dimes, quarters, and halves, if, if you go to the right shops, you can actually get your premium back uh, to somewhat degree. There's only a $2 spread on this right now, whereas those like one tenth ounce silver uh, ounces you're talking about, what's the spread on those? Uh, probably 30%? Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, so it's ridiculous. You know, and I also want to talk to people and say that, you know, we're making this video today. So don't, if we talk about pricing and like, you know, things like that, just don't be like, oh, calling Brian and saying, hey, I want those prices I saw in the video, well, because yeah, that's it, subject to change. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It changed, it can change by the hour, actually. Uh, and, and that's a good point. You know, today is August 2nd, 2022. And uh, yeah, prices, uh, not only the price of gold and silver is fluid, but the premiums can be as fluid as the actual spot price. Gotcha. Uh, what else you got on the table here? Like, let's talk about. Oh, uh, so. Uh, we always have Platinum Eagles in stock, uh, one of our hottest sellers. Uh, we got quarters, halves, and full ounces. Um, we're out of tenths right now. You know, the interesting thing about fractional Platinum Eagles is they haven't made any since 2008. Oh, okay. So that's, you know, what is that, 14, 15 years ago that they stopped making fr uh, Platinum Fractional uh, Eagles, which sucks, right? But they, I think they would be a huge seller if the Mint would... Uh, start making fractionals again. I wonder why they're not. Uh, it's probably something to do with just their, the, the ROI on it. Now the, the Platinum is kind of like a, I, I don't wanna say new, but it's newer in your shop, right? You weren't like getting the Platinum as much. Yeah, that's true, that's yeah. true. Uh, Over the last few years probably. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a huge demand on Platinum right now. Um, a lot of people are uh, high on Platinum because of its price point. Uh, it's somewhere around $900 per ounce, give or take. And whereas, what, three years ago, four years ago, it was like, what, uh, the, at least the price of gold, yeah, which is around uh, just under $1,800 an ounce right now. So uh, a lot of people think it has a uh, revaluation, if you will, a correction that's going to happen, and then they'll make bank. And I, I believe in some of that. I don't know if it'll get back to its original levels. Uh, you know, at one time, platinum was over 2000 an ounce. And I, I believe that at one time, it was also, also more than gold. Wasn't oh, that, absolutely! Yeah. For the longest period of time, people are very excited about platinum. Well, and that's why you, see, you know you see like all these in, uh, rewards programs. It's always a platinum level is always higher than the gold level, right? right. Yeah. So you know, usually it was platinum, gold, silver. Well, that's kind of uh, changed uh, with the precious metals industry over the last three or four years. I always blame it on the rappers because the, the rappers right. love to have the platinum chains. That was okay. their thing. And then when they stopped the platinum chains, you know, the price dropped. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, what else we got over here? All right. So we got gold eagles. Uh, you know, we got one tenth ounce gold, quarter ounce gold eagles, half ounce and full ounce and buffaloes. Um, so there's some interesting information going on uh, from the U.S. Mint right now regarding gold eagles and buffaloes. Uh, Production is being limited um, to the point where fractional eagles may be done. Uh, and really? I think, yeah, I think they're having a very limited, if not zero, allocation on one ounce gold eagles from here on out until the 2023 issues come out. And so uh, the distributors are basically rationing uh, their gold eagles at this point. And so uh, I just spoke to one of my distributors uh, this afternoon. Uh, they're char they're up to charging us the uh, shops, the brick and mortar shops, six percent over on one ounce gold eagles now. And so, you know, we're selling a 7% over, uh, and that number may actually still go up before the new uh, 2023s come out towards uh, in January. Wow, fascinating. Yeah. Uh, my cost on one tenth ounce gold eagles now is melt plus 17%. That's ridiculous. You know, we used to sell these for uh, melt plus 10 bucks. Yeah. And uh, people never wanted them. And now... Uh, our cost is melt plus 17% on a one tenth ounce gold eagle. Your cost, man. That, that, it's that's getting weird out there. And, and just uh, rationing one tube a week. That's how much I can buy. That's it? That's it. That's all I can buy. These, uh, these distributors are down to the last box of them. One tube a week. Yes. So you love them when somebody comes off the street and they got eagles they're selling because you're like, yeah. yes. And so, and that's right. And so we charge the melt price plus 22% and we're paying melt plus 15% to the customer across the counter. One tube a week. And one tube a week is what they're limiting in uh, one ten thousand gold eagles. So if somebody comes in, they want to buy the entire tube. You're like, shoot, what am I going to do now? Well, I mean, there's, there's all these back channels. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, guaranteed money, uh, melt plus 17, one tube a week. That's it. 
Fantastic. And, uh, that's, that's crazy. That it is. It's crazy. And uh, the reality is, before they release the 2023 Gold Eagles, those prices probably will still go up because it's the beginning of August right now, right? We still got four months to go. Yeah. And this stuff, uh, the fractional eagles always get nutty around Christmas time because they're great gifts. So that demand even gets higher after Thanksgiving. Fascinating information. Uh, what are these things right here? These seem like they're new. The, uh, the yeah, we got, I'm not sure we're talking about, we got the kangaroos. Oh, okay, kangaroos. Uh, and we got the uh, saints, uh, the kangaroos. We started adding those to the stock um, because the eagles got so squirrely. So we're adding, uh, Kangaroos, we sell those at plus 65. So, can I, can I grab one of those? Of course, yeah. No uh, those are 2022s. They're four nines. Uh, so, they're very popular and a hell of a lot cheaper than the uh, US gold right now. So, that's why we added them to our portfolio. All right. Way to get around the extreme prices of what's going on here. Well, and so here's, here's a good question for everyone. Why would I, as a shop owner, stock those over, say, gold maple leaves or gold Kruger ants? Why would you? Because when you go to sell kangaroos, they are exempt from the 1099B schedule uh, when you sell in bulk. Now, when you sell one ounce gold maple leaves or one ounce gold Kruger ends in bulk, you can get hit with a 1099B schedule and all of a sudden you've got uh, reporting issues with the IRS. Kangaroos are exempt from that, just like the US gold eagles and gold buffaloes. Fascinating. So the, my distributor sells maple leaves and Kruger ends and uh, I, I won't stock those uh, because of that issue. But the kangaroos are exempt from that, so we, we uh, ended up stocking them. Well, son of a gun, I gotta start buying kangaroos now. Well, kangaroos, uh, pandas are exempt from that too, koalas are. Um, basically, it's just the, uh, the Kruger ants and the maple leaves. And the reason being is when this absurd law was written into effect, None of those other, you know, there weren't pandas out there. There weren't, uh, there weren't kangaroos or koalas, but there were maple leaves and um, cougar ants. Gotcha. Because they're the, one of the older forms of one ounce gold bullion out there. Now listen, I'm going to say this one more time. These prices that you're going to hear right now are just right at this very moment. Yeah. Don't call Brian and be like, hey, I want those prices I heard in the video because those are subject to change like every single like moment. Right, right. That's, <laughs> but, that's true. Brian, just for fun, uh, what's the current price of, let's say, a one ounce platinum uh, eagle. Uh, we sell them for the spot price plus 120, so it's probably going to be just over a thousand dollars per ounce. So uh, just over a thousand dollars for that, um, and then your gold. Let's do this buffalo. Gold buffalo. Uh, uh, one ounce gold buffalo is uh, spot plus seven percent, so that's going to be somewhere just over 1,900. Okay, and um, let's get crazy. You have some stuff over here. Yeah. So this is uh, more of the generic silver. We do have silver eagles over here. Uh, we can talk a little bit about that. Um, Silver eagles are just like the gold eagles, uh, very limited in supply. Uh, allocations are coming out, I want to say the second week of August, I think. Uh, price point, like my costs on those are going to be like, I think plus ten fifty or plus $11 per ounce. That's our costs. Okay. So that's insane, right? Yeah. Because that, okay, now you talk about, you know, getting into kind of really nutty numbers. That is basically half of the uh, cost of an ounce of silver, right? Silver is $20 an ounce, and it's costing us 11 over to get. That's, uh, that kind of becomes a, is it worth it question, right? For sure, and I've wondered that for a while with Eagles. Is yeah. it worth it? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, but you know what? They're one of our better sellers, even right. at this price point, because where it is on the street is they may even get even more expensive. Really? Yeah. I mean, we saw some places selling Eagles for over 40 bucks an ounce. Someone mentioned that today uh, to us too, two guys actually. One uh, found them at $40 an ounce and one found them at $43 an ounce. Yep. And um, I mean, that seems extreme to me, but at the same time, you know, everyone's, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? Whatever floats your boat. But yeah, it was it was pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, okay, just for fun though, like um, 100 ounce bar right here, that's, that's this one right here. Yeah, right? that's this one here. That's the 100 ounce uh, Pioneer bar. Just for fun, I like throwing out prices. Uh, Again, this somewhere is around 2200, give or take. 2200. That's, that's a beautiful bar, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Pioneer. You've been stocking bar. those like crazy. Yeah, we have those always in stock. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Florida Leaf 50 ounce bars. They're basically half of that, so a little over 1100. And then you got your kilogram bars. I think they're somewhere around 700, maybe a little over right now. Now, these are, these are like app mixes, like. Like kind of the, babies, right? The nine fine mint, yeah. Yes. Those uh, in the Pioneer, that's at, uh, some of that next is home uh, in-house brand. Yes. The Florida Lee, that's a private company out of Missouri. 
that's uh, that's not uh, anything to do with that. The one. nine fine is a kind of a cool idea. The little box that comes with it. Yeah. I don't know why, but just you as a collector, <laughs> it, what helps with it is uh, it keeps it, the bars from getting all scratched up and ugly. Yeah, and as long as you leave them in the in the boxes. So and uh, because it's not a bulky box, they stack well, and they uh, you know they. It's not, uh, it's easily manageable, let's put it that way. Let's say uh, somebody comes in with some scratched up ugly bars. Um, does that kind of affect the price when they sell it? Um, it can, uh, it just, uh, it just depends. Depends I mean, on the bar? Yeah, not so much on the bar, just how bad is it? You I gotcha. Is, is, it, is it really ugly? Is it something I can still, here, here's I guess the answer to that question. Is it something I can still retail or is it something that has to just go in the scrap pile and be melted? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Makes total sense. Um, you know, and I skipped this right here on purpose because it's kind of like a last but not least kind of situation. We're going to stand up for this one. Yeah. Um, so what do we, uh, we got here? We had to, we've, been, uh, we've been putting out a bunch of Saints lately. These five just literally came in the shop like two hours ago. Uh, I haven't even had time to price them out and get them out. Um, so, or actually, these five here just came in the shop. Um, this guy was like a Wells Fargo nut. This right here is really cool. Yeah. This, this Wells Fargo Nevada Gold right here. MS-66. Wow. And the old uh, second generation of PCGS. Yeah, remote. buddy. My eyes just go boop right yeah. there, that thing. I can work you a good deal on it. You can? Yeah. All right, we'll talk about it. <laughs> you know you know, we'll talk about it. It's um, Just for fun. Just for fun again. Like, what would you say the value is right here? And just the gold-wise on your table. Just yeah. just approximate. Oh, uh, um, I don't know, 50000 <laughs> Isn't that nuts? It's just so crazy when you see such little things yeah. worth so much. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. Well, listen, Brian, greatly appreciate the uh, insider information that you provide. Um, I like how I can ask you a question. You're like, okay, I can't, you know, talk about that. You're not, you're not saying that. You're just like, yep, I can say that. I'm, I'm going to say that. And yeah. you help people out. And yeah. uh, that's a great service you provide um, on this, you know, video here and the videos we do. Um, again, I want to tell people that check out the playlist. I have how many videos we have now? Ten? Uh, a number of them for yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll yeah, come yeah. out with more hopefully if you allow it. Of course. <laughs> yeah, we're open all the time. Man. But again, open. check out Brian's information down in the description of the video down below there. It's a click away. Check them out um, and you know help his help his business. You man. know something <laughs> that uh, you know we gotta pat ourselves on the back a little bit. Both you and I said this like two years ago, right? That there's no silver shortage. Yeah, and uh, we kept saying, and I was getting hate mail over it. I don't know if you were, but oh, I was. Oh, I got so much flack for it yeah. um, by some big name people. Right. Uh, so much. Yeah. And uh, how did that all play out? Well, here's silver right here. Yeah, it, here uh, it turned out not to be a real shortage, huh? No. And uh, we still see on the generic silver, we're still seeing uh, small and incremental, but price reductions in the premiums. The U.S. Uh, Constitutional and the U.S. Silver Eagles are ridiculous, um, but generic silver is flowing uh, freely. We can order any amount of generic silver. I can order 100,000 ounces of one ounce rounds, literally right now, and they would be wherever I want them to be in five to six business days. Wow. So, I mean, it's no, um, there's no, no shortage. shortage. N never was, uh, none on the foreseeable horizon. So both of us said that, and I got a ton of flack for it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I still do. I still do. I'm, I'm banned from certain forums and everything. I can't go there and talk and have any kind of free speech because people didn't want to hear that. Yeah, they really, they really didn't. I try to deliver the truth. I know you do too. And uh, if people are out there and they like the truth, then you know it is what it is. I, yeah. I'm here to provide that, and so are you. But if they want to hear that silver is going to the moon, then they can find those videos and those people out there that will lie to them and. Uh, they'll be wasting money, I think. Yeah. It's, but what's kind, what's kind of the rule when you're buying, before we go, when you're buying precious metals, right. what's a good, like, for like a newbie, how do you get into this stuff? You well, just buy all you can? Well, no, I mean, right? No, <laughs> I mean, that's it. Uh, first of all, I, I, here's, what, here's one thing I always tell people. If you buy something today, let's say you buy uh, a tube of one ounce rounds, right? And that's basically 450 bucks, let's say. And tomorrow your water heater goes out at your house and you gotta sell your silver to fix your water heater, don't buy the silver. Just, if you gotta, you gotta have some backup uh, reserves before you really start dabbling in precious metals. So that's just the reality of it. Because if you do it that way, if you do buy and then something happens in life where you need that money, you're losing money because you're, when you buy in this market, you're paying the premium and you don't get that premium back. 
so when you go to sell it and so it's just um you know first of all get your if you have debt get that in check first and then uh then start stacking precious metals as much as you can boom that's that's my personal philosophy on it yeah. uh, i could be wrong but that's how i've always approached it and this is a an actual shop owner ladies and gentlemen i mean he owns this shop and he's telling you to you know be smart yeah. be smart about buying this stuff he's not telling you to buy all you can it's going to the moon he's not lying to you he's he's telling you from a down-to-earth perspective what to do here yeah and um the best way to look at precious metals i think is like a savings account right it's um you take your money you take your cash money out of your physical hands you put it in this so you know you take your 500 bucks or whatever and you put it in the silver rounds well if something pops up you know something shiny and fancy and you say hey i want to i want to buy that uh well you can't just run out there and buy that with uh your one ounce uh one ounce rounds you have to go sell these cash them out and then go buy it, right? So it adds a step in between you and that shiny new item that just caught your mind. So it's um, it's a good way to save by including uh, precious metals in your uh, into your market. Someone's just trying to come in. Oh. Uh, so yeah, after hours, close, by the way. Yeah, after hours, we close at five. Forgot five. to lock the door, huh? Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> but um, so uh, it's just a good way to save. It's think of it as a savings account and uh, it just keeps you from frivolously spending your money. I have a number of customers that come in on a weekly basis and basically have turned their, they turn their paychecks into gold and silver because they know if they kept the cash from the paychecks in their pocket, they're gonna spend it. Yeah. And so they, they just squirrel away the gold and silver. And then if they need it for something, then they know, okay, I'll go, I'll go cash this in and go, go sell this. Uh, but they're not gonna just blow the money on something stupid because they got it in their pocket. Gotcha. So a lot of those people, are very disciplined uh, stackers. A lot of people say, you know, they say, be your own bank. Be your and, own bank, And this yeah. is kind of what you're preaching right here. Yes, be your own bank, um, but not to your own detriment either. Right. So it's a fine line. Um, and it takes, as you know, I mean, you've been doing this a long time. It takes discipline uh, to be in this, right? Because here's what happens too, right? Say we have a two, $2 drop in silver in 48 hours, which happens, right? Absolutely. People can get scared and be like, oh my God, I'm going to lose everything, right? And then they rush out and sell their silver to just to get a get away from it because they're afraid that it's going to keep going down and lose even further value but now they just lost two dollars an ounce and then three months later it's back up over where it was when they dropped two dollars so you know you just got to be disciplined it's as as spake here will tell you this is not a short-term thing here for you you get into this this is long-term money long-term money the ideal is to never sell but the reality is you might have to do it one day. You might want to retire and have fun in retirement, and or you might want to pass it on to you know your loved ones. Who knows? But it is a long-term thing, ideally. Yeah, and you know, and life happens too, right? So, Absolutely. Uh, uh, my last customer of the day, he was in selling his gold because his wife needs a knee replacement. She's got this horrible uh, arthritic condition, and she's in agony and needs a knee replacement to, just to help her go about her daily life. Well, he's selling his precious metals to make sure that, you know, that she will enjoy life better and have a better quality of life with a knee replacement. So that's what uh, that's what it's there for. What do they say? Happy wife, happy life. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, right on. That's yeah. So that's, you that's know, that's same. that's what it's there for. Yeah, it's not. It, these aren't lottery tickets. No, there, there's a lot of people that come in and they think that these are lottery tickets. Not the get rich quick scheme. No, this that is the, not what uh, this is. That the uh, silver shortage people will tell you. That's yeah, not what it's all about. This is not what this is. No. Well, Brian, listen, greatly appreciate you showing us this uh, awesome, just, you know, crazy amount of silver and gold and platinum. I love seeing it. Um, it's neat to just have it all on the table like this. And it's nice to have that, that down to earth perspective that you give um, about this stuff and the honesty and the insider information. I like it all. I like well, it all. Well, we appreciate having you here. Hey, let's not be uh, as much strangers before. That's my fault. I had things going on. But okay. uh, I'll come by when I can, okay? Well, you're always welcome. Again, everybody check down in the description, right down below this video. I have information so you can contact Brian. And uh, listen, like again, the prices that we told you right now, I'm doing that just for fun, just to kind of entertain you about what these things are actually worth at this very moment. But please don't call Brian and be like, hey, I want that same price. Right. Because you won't get it. <laughs> and and some, uh, sometime, uh, you know, I know you... you you interview a lot of different shops and uh, different people that have different positions in the precious metal industry. Yes. I think something that um, 
you uh, it may help uh, your viewers is uh, talking about fraud uh, in the way of uh, forms of payment now. You know, these, all these electronic uh, digital forms of payment are coming out or are out. And it's important that people like really think about using those apps and those digital forms of currency before they start getting into this. Gotcha. You know, you just, that might be a good topic for some of your guys sometime down the road. Yeah, I'd be down. Well, Brian, listen, greatly appreciate everything you provide to us. Sure. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys check him out. Brian Vermillion, his shop, Vermillion Enterprises, Spring Hill, Florida. He does ship, right? Yes, yes. So when we accept payment via cash, wire, or Zelle. Bada bang. Yep. Brian, thanks again. Hey, we appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.